Hello, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. Today I have my project pan finale. So before we get into it, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel before you leave. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and let's get into it. So I had a goal this year of using up 23 products in 2023. That was kind of in addition to my project pan products that I used up in my project counted toward that goal as well as products I was using outside the project. So we are going to go through my final update and then at the very end I will let you know whether or not I used up 23 products in my project pan. I'll also try to let you know if I learned anything from this year's project. So the first product I need to talk about is one I actually forgot to mention in my last update and this is my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. So I really don't have any new updates on this one. This is one that I was so close to using up, I thought it was almost done, and then I finally figured out how to get the stopper out of this product, and it turns out there is so much more product in here. So this actually is nowhere near close to being done, and I think I got a little bit discouraged. Not that I'm upset that I still have product left, but to be so close and then realize you're not close at all, I kind of stopped using this for a little bit. I will continue to use it. Um, not in a project pan, but I will be continuing to use this and hopefully I can finish it up at some point. Again, I do have the e.l.f. dupe for this product, so I really don't need both in my collection. I have loved this. It's just I would like to get it used up, but I did forget to use it over the last couple of months. Next is a product I was absolutely certain I could finish this year and did not. This is from MAC. This is my Cream Sheen Lipstick in the shade Modesty. So you can see it's getting really low. It looks like it's close, but I grossly underestimated how long it takes to use up a lipstick. I still love this one. This is a beautiful My Lips But Better nude. It's been one of my favorites for years at this point. I still really, really love MAC lipsticks as well. So I'm disappointed that I didn't finish this one up, but I know at some point it will happen. I naturally love this shade, so it only makes sense that I will finish this. I was using this with a lip liner I finished this year, and once I used up the lip liner, I kind of stopped using this, which I don't really understand why I did that, but for that reason, this one did fall off. I will keep using it. I don't think I'm going to roll it over into next year's project. I'm still trying to figure out exactly what next year's project looks like for me, but I'm not going to roll this over into next year's because I think it needs a little break. However, I do still really, really love this one and I am hopeful that I can finish it up maybe sometime next year. The next product is one I put in and I don't like the idea of hate panning products because then it kind of takes the fun out of a project pan. However, I spent a lot of money on this. I missed the return window when I initially purchased it and I kept trying to love it and I kept trying to convince myself that I was the reason I didn't like this, but this is the Patrick Ta Cream Foundation and Finishing Powder Duo. I do not like this product at all. So I've been trying to pan the cream foundation. Not so much the powder because I really dislike the powder, but I have been trying to pan the foundation. I used it a couple of times and there is what looks like a significant dip in the pan, but not enough of one to think that I'm close to hitting pan by any means. And in general, I just don't like this. It looks too dry on my skin. It makes my skin look heavy and cakey and it feels heavy on the skin. I can't stand that. When I add the powder, it just makes everything look so much drier. So I really just don't like this product. That being said, I did use this a couple of times and I just went in with really light layers. Even then, I still don't like it, but it may help me get some more use out of it. So I'm considering putting this one in my 2024 project just to at least hit pan on that foundation. The next product we have an update on is my Winky Lux Uni Brow Universal Brow Pencil. So this is a nice brow pencil. This does have a larger tip and I think it's really, really nice. It does fill in the brows really quickly, really easily. I have been really enjoying it. Again, it's just one of those really quick products to use and I love products like that. So I have been enjoying this. That being said, I've had this for a couple of years at this point and it feels like the never ending brow pencil. Since I've been actively trying to use it up, I have seen some progress, so that makes me happy. When I initially started doing a project pan, I had a brow pencil in all the time and then I felt like I was just constantly using them up. So it was kind of a given that I was going to have one of those products in one of my updates. 
and I thought that made it boring, but actually that helped keep me motivated. So this one I think will roll over into my 2024 project. I like using it, I don't mind it, and again, I don't keep a lot of brow products on hand because I find that as somebody who reviews a lot of new makeup, it can be easy to accumulate a ton. And I feel like brows are one area of my collection that I can keep small. So I'm happy with my progress on this one. I'm happy I added it in and I will probably roll it over into next year's project. So I will keep you updated on that. Next is my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Lip Liner in the shade Pillow Talk. So this one did make some progress. I use this one all of the time. It is getting pretty small, but at the same time, it has a ton of use left in it. I used it today. I use it a lot. So this is a really good one. This is one I will repurchase. I do love her lip liners. I just think they're very long wearing. They're a simple pencil liner, so you can sharpen them, but they are very creamy at the same time. They're just a really, really nice formula. And every time I'm on her website looking at new products, I'm considering buying more of these. So, in different shades, of course. But I really do love her lip liner formula and I've enjoyed having this in the project and I'm happy with my progress on it. I think even if this one is not in a project pan, I will use it up very organically. So whether I keep it in a project pan or not, this will definitely be an empty texture. The next product is another Patrick Ta product. This is the Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo. I have the shade She Statuesque. So my goal with this one has been just to hit pan on the cream because I think this is a really good product. I think the bronzer occasionally pulls a little bit too warm on my fair skin, but the contour I love. I love working with this powder. I love everything about it. It's blendable. It's super long wearing. It's just so easy to work with and I've really, really enjoyed it. For the longest time I was using like a Sigma contour brush that was really densely packed and then blending it out. But recently I've started using a fluffier brush. I've been using the BK Beauty 107 in this and this works such wonders with the cream contour. It looks so nice and natural on the skin. I love it. So if you have this brush and this contour, I highly recommend using them together if you're not already because they're so good together. I will mention my cream does have a weird hole right here. That is because I went in with tweezers because there was a hair and I just, I wanted it off. So I went in with my tweezers and I pushed in a little bit too hard. That's all that is, but Unfortunately, I did not hit pan on this one. The first half of the year was dedicated to a different bronzer product. This one has been in for the last few months and I've really enjoyed reaching for it and using it all the time. I will probably take it out of the project for now, but I have really enjoyed it and I like that I put it in here to get a lot more use out of it. This product actually taught me something about the value of not necessarily hitting pan on every product, but perhaps having a usage goal. And that is something that I might be taking with me into next year's project. So there might be a lot more products just with usage goals rather than panic goals. I'm happy with my progress on this one. I'm happy to put it back in my collection for a little bit. I definitely thought I could hit pan, but I think there's a lot more product in here than I think there is. So I am happy to give this one a break, but I've also really, really enjoyed using it and working with it. And finally, from Charlotte Tilbury, I have my Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder in the shade Fair. So this is a powder I really, really, truly love. And you can see it's getting pretty close to the end. My goal for this one was not to use it up because when I first introduced it to the project, I already had pretty large pan in here. So my goal was to see how much of it I could get used up. And I think it's looking pretty good. I do still have a ton of product, of course, but I have made significant progress from the amount of pan I had to what I have now, and I'm really, really happy with that. This is definitely one I will finish at some point next year, and I will end up buying a refill because I do love this powder. I also love her Airbrush Flawless Brightening Powder. I think that's amazing, but I do think there's a value in having both powders. So in discussing the products that I finished up this year, my goal was 23. And I'm disappointed to say I did not finish up 23 products. I did if you were to count hair care and skincare. However, for this, for the purposes of this project, I was only counting makeup. So I didn't do it. 
but I'm still very proud of how much I actually did finish. First, I finished the NYX Brow Glue, which was actually part of my Project Pan in 2022, and I'm pretty sure I finished this like the first week of January. So that was the first one. Uh, I finished a Huda Beauty Silk Balm, which is one of my absolute favorite liquid lip balms. I finished a Tower 28 lip gloss, which is one I'd had for about two years, and so I just kind of wanted to finish it. So that was exciting. I finished a Marc Jacobs Mini Lip Liner in the shade Sugar High. I loved that liner formula. It was incredibly long wearing. And I remember when the shade Sugar High was the most popular shade there was, particularly on YouTube, but it was incredibly popular. Unfortunately, you can't get it anymore because Marc Jacobs Beauty is no longer. I'm not sure if they're coming back, but currently they're no longer. I finished an ABH Brow Wiz, which I really enjoy. I think that is still one of my favorite brow pencils. I also love the CoverGirl brow pencil from the drugstore. The last one I had was actually not a very good one. I think it was broken somewhere in the packaging, which was frustrating, but I do love the Brow Wiz. I finished up my beloved Catrice True Skin Foundation. That is one I love so much. That is still probably my favorite drugstore foundation. Unfortunately, it's not readily available to me in Canada now because when they left Ulta, they also left Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada, which is where they were sold. They focused on their online presence and they don't ship to Canada. So that was kind of unfortunate and I'm really, really missing it in my collection. I loved that foundation. I finished up a Tower 28 mascara, which I absolutely love. I do have a backup. I just haven't opened it yet. I finished up my one size concealer, which was formerly my very, very favorite concealer. That one was just so beautiful and full coverage and blendable. It has been bested this year by the Natasha Denona concealer. That The Natasha Denona is just a little bit more hydrating and even more blendable and it doesn't crease and it's just perfection. I finished up a mini Seals Booster XL from Lancome. I finished up a mini Lancome Lash Idol. Love both of those products. I have since repurchased the Lash Booster. I finished up a CoverGirl brow pencil as well. That's the one that I mentioned the packaging was a bit defective. I finished up one of my mini Charlotte Tilbury setting sprays and I actually used that bottle to put my Lawless setting spray in there because the mister on my Lawless was just leaking everywhere so I put it into the Charlotte Tilbury container so I got recycling out of that as well. I finished an Ofra lip gloss which was nice but it wasn't my favorite. It's a very thin formula and it had little glitters in it which I could feel on my lips when I was wearing it so I don't love that. I finished up, and this was definitely in my project pan, the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. I had a mini, but mine lasted forever. I think it took me until about midsummer to use it up, but I did do that. I finished another mini lash Edol. I finished a mini of the Vitamin Enriched Face Base from Bobbi Brown, which I love. That is a super hydrating primer. I love that one for under makeup, particularly if you have dry skin. It's amazing. I finished up a mini of the One Size Secure the Blur Primer, and I enjoyed that one. I don't know that it was so incredibly blurring. I really don't notice a ton of difference between that one and the Kelly Ray that I'm currently enjoying. So I probably won't purchase a full size, but it was a nice product. I also finished a mini of the Tatcha Liquid Silk Candy canvas, which I loved. Also very, very hydrating. And lastly, I finished up my NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I have repurchased that one because it's the best foundation of all time. But I finished up 19 products in all. I'm pretty proud of that. I am thinking I'll still uphold a similar goal for 2024. I do, again, I have a ton of minis in my collection. And while I love minis, I do sometimes feel like they can add a little bit of clutter to the collection when you have a ton of tiny little sample sizes running around when they're actually very easy to use up. So that being said, I'm happy with my progress this year. I am very happy with my project pan. This update didn't seem like the most exciting, but when you think about all of the products I did pan throughout the year, I'm very, very happy. And I am also working on a video for some time in probably January or February, um, sharing all of the products in my collection that do have pan in them. So Stay tuned for that. Let me know down below what you'd like to see from my 2024 project, any changes, any recommendations, any advice. Let me know. 
Thank you so very much for being here. And I do believe this is the last video I will be posting in 2023. So I want to wish you all a very happy and safe new year. Thank you so much for all of your support this past year. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.